Wilkinson. I am a hair artist from Northern Arizona and I am going to show you what I am going to be doing on this color. So as you can see here, she has gorgeous hair. Her natural level is a beautiful tone and she already has some amazing um, highlights in there. We are just wanting to um, bring those up and make it brighter for her but still leaving her some dimension on her root as well. So here you can see she has really fine hair. And so by the hairline, it was really difficult to get in there and put the foils that I wanted to. And so later on in the video, I will show you what I did to lighten those pieces up by the hairline and add a little bit of brightness so it wasn't so contrast next to her natural hair color and still giving her that money piece effect. And I wanna say, and apologize for my arm and body being in the way of this video. It's very frustrating. I almost didn't put this video together, but I've kind of pieced it together. So I hope that all of this will, you'll be able to get something out of it. But anyways, you'll be able, when I pull away, you'll see like the placement and the foiling sectioning that I'm doing along the way. So on the first um, sections that I took closer to her face there, I did them more of a baby light weave. And then that last one that you saw me do, it was more of a chunkier weave. We're wanting to leave her with like a rooted look, like keep pretty much the same thing she has going on, just touching it up and adding in some more lightness and brightness. So that last one was a chunkier, heavier um, weave to leave out some dimension. And I am so sorry, um, these shots I got were not good. Um, my assistant comes in later in the video and I get some better footage. So thank you so much for being patient with me. Um, I didn't wanna bore you with these really long shots. So here you can kind of see how I did her hairline and creating like more of a money piece here in the front. So they're all coming forward. And then um, here I'm moving I have already pretty much done both sides and so with that I did a mixture of um, baby lights and chunky teasy lights so here in the back you'll see um, the techniques that I did some of them in the front sections So as you can see, I teased her hair there and then I took out about three big pieces of hair. And then right here, I am using um, a different kind of foil. It's actually from Costco. It's their Kirkland brand. It's a burrito, their burrito rolling foil. Anyways, I'm getting used to it. Um, I like it for bigger sections. So here in the back, I took bigger sections and then I could fold over, which makes it really nice. Um, so I am liking that. It's just a little flimsier than the foil that I'm used to using. I use um, Product Club's foil and it's a lot firmer, firmer and um, I just like, I'm just used to that consistency of foil now. And so here you can see some more of the technique that I did with this coloring. Um, in the back I wanted more dimension so I'm leaving out what she already has and leaving her natural color. Um, to give us some pops of color back there. I also am using a paintbrush. Um, if you haven't tried using like a chip paintbrush, it's amazing for blending um, out color. I really like the softness and the natural look it gives my colors. Um, I just feel like it makes it look the word 
just more like a sophisticated color like the more techniques you can use I feel like the better quality your colors will turn out so I do the TZ lights I try different weave patterns I um, use the paintbrush or other kinds of brushes for different techniques I'm doing and I feel like that makes my colors stand out um, and I just like the way they turn out it really is just all the little things that you pick up and learn and try that make the difference in your results. So, um, yeah, so here I am showing you how they how I use them and how they turn out. And then you guys can try them and let me know what you guys think. So here I am just taking some of her existing blonde and I'm just wanting to make those pop a little bit more so that when I go to tone them that they bring everything together and it just freshens it up and like I said it makes it brighter and just more consistent with the new color that you've just put on because those pieces um, can tend to get dull if you don't like lighten them so i feel like that gives it some more brightness and all over beautifulness i did want to let you guys know that i always add ph bonder to my lighteners this lightener i use flash lift um, from redken and i used I believe it was 20 volume for her 20 or probably a mixture of 20 and 30 because I knew that it wasn't going to take us long to put her foils on since we were just doing a half head of highlights and here I am just showing you the end results um, what the it looks like after the foils are taken out yes we're good <laughs> you can edit that it, out <laughs> yeah I'm like I'll cut that out so um, when I bring my um guest back to the shampoo bowl area I'm going to be doing a um, root, uh, like a high lift on the face framing part because her hairs were so fine I couldn't foil them and so I'm going to be using this nifty little mascara wand brush from Redken um, and so I'll be I'll show you how I wipe that onto there apply that and then um, for the uh, color glaze, I'll be doing a little bit of 9NB, 9V, a little tiny bit of the 9NA by Redken, it's the Shade TQ um, gloss, and then some 9P as well. And so we just want a very neutral, um, more ashy toned blonde for her. So I'm going to shampoo her and pre-tone her with the Fanola No Yellow and so that'll get rid of um, any of the unwanted yellow tones before we tone her. I just find that the toners um, look better on a clean white palette. And then um, after I do that, I will put the pH bonder, the number two, and then I will put her root smudge on and let that sit for about eight to ten minutes. And then after we do the color glaze, I will do some um, Redken Extreme Cat and the Redken Shots, um, it's another pH bonder. And that just makes sure that the toner and color glaze stays in the hair, it seals it, and keeps their color fresher and lasting longer. So here I am showing you the um, what I used for my root tap and I used 8NA and 6N making it like a level 7 and I use color gels and then the color lacquer. Color gels are no longer using making anymore Redken 
but color lacquer is their replacement and so they mix well together and so i'm just using that up root smudges um i have found that using a whiter coarser brush works best for me and this just can take longer and so using something like this makes it go on quicker and quickness is key when it comes to root smudges to make sure that it um, processes evenly and consistently throughout the head. Now that I have washed her all out and mixed up my colors, I put on the pH bonder and then I take my bath pack brush and I brush her out. Love this brush, it's amazing. And so now I am working on doing her root tap, root smudge, and I start in the back and I work my way towards the front. And as you can see, I am taking her root tap about um, an inch down. In the back, I took it down a little bit further because the highlights were placed further away from the head, the scalp. And so um, here I am just taking it, yeah, about an inch or so. And then probably by the hair line, I'll take it not as far down. Just to tap and blend out the root into her highlights. Here I am just brushing it out. I feel like this is key to blending in your root tap and root smudges. So I do that and I let it sit for a couple minutes and then I move on to the peach bonder or the redkin cat. And I put this on before I do my toning. I'm gonna do 9P and I'm gonna do about a half ounce of this. Now on to the color glazing section of this video and here I am parting her off moving the front side pieces and the top section and then I start with my toner on this back area massaging it really well into the hair before moving on to the sides and top areas. I generally leave my toners on anywhere from 8 to 10 minutes. Um, I just feel like it may go on darker 
than what I'm wanting or what um, the client is wanting, but I feel like they get a longer lasting result and I know that after the first time they wash it, it's just going to brighten up so nicely. Another thing is I don't shampoo it out. I feel like it again gives them like another wash and sets it in rather than using shampoo and taking off the color. And I recommend that my clients wait two days before shampooing their hair because this also helps set the color in as well. So here are the finished results, you guys. We were so happy with the way it turned out. We got that rooted dimensional blonde. And yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I plan on posting weekly every Thursday with new videos and content. So please feel free to subscribe, comment, let me know what you guys are thinking. And I hope to connect with you more on here. And you guys can find me on my Instagram. I am on there all the time. So bye.